Well, last week, Garden Master Jim Duthie gave us some helpful information about dealing with that mushrooms or the mushrooms that are beginning to pop up in our lawns. He told us about a new poisonous variety of poisonous mushrooms called death caps that are starting to show up here in Idaho. And today on You Can Grow It, Jim looks at edible mushrooms and the possibility of growing your own. He takes us back to last summer when he introduced us to a local young entrepreneur who has a passion for growing mushrooms and has started his own mushroom growing business. Take a look. There are thousands of varieties of edible mushrooms, some with very colorful and creative names like lion's mane, pearls, blue oysters, and pink oysters and even turkey tail. Almost all of us can grow mushrooms in our yards, not the kind you want to eat, but good edible mushrooms will introduce you to a local young entrepreneur who wants to make this a big business. 19-year-old Brody Ferguson has a passion for mushrooms. So it all started as an eighth grade science project um, when I tried to grow mushrooms, basically. Um, and it kind of just went from there. Brody's friends and family have even given him a few nicknames. Well, I, you know, I get lots of jokes. I'm kind of known as the, the fun guy or the mushroom man, um, but you know, they love it. I've always loved growing mushrooms. Um, I'd like to expand it beyond mushrooms one day. Uh, I love just promoting sustainability and great all around products to consumers. So that's really where my passion is at. When he first started more than five years ago, Brody was one of the few people in Idaho growing their own mushrooms. But in recent years, mushroom growing has exploded in popularity. I know the majority of the mushroom growers in the United States, and it is a pretty tight-knit community um, that we all, you know, kind of can share information and strains and knowledge. All mushrooms are fungi, but not all fungi are mushrooms. And they're neither plant nor animal belonging to a class of their own. The mushrooms that we see are actually the fruit of the fungus. Growing mushrooms pretty complicated process. Brody starts with a petri dish where the mushroom roots or mycelium take hold. From there it's expanded to a liquid culture, basically sugar water, where millions of strands of mycelium grow. The liquid culture is poured into a bag of sterilized grain, a nitrogen rich food source that allows the mushroom culture to expand. Once fully colonized, the grain is added to a sawdust block to give the mushrooms a medium in which to start fruiting into recognizable mushrooms. The whole process typically takes about two weeks. Brody's lab is part of his company, Ferg's Fabulous Fungi, and he's developed a simple kit for growing your own edible mushrooms. Um, what I'm doing is basically making it easy for everybody else. This is a grow kit. It's just a fully colonized block of mushroom mycelium. So basically, um, you'll get a uh, little sawdust block and all you have to do is take that home, uh, cut an X in the bag, mist it a couple times a day with a little squirt bottle and about two weeks you'd have your own mushrooms that you can just pick. Mushrooms need moisture so Brody built a special misting room for the mushrooms to grow in a highly humid environment. Supermarkets only carry a few common mushroom varieties but some more exotic varieties are in high demand for gourmet cooking and others for their medicinal properties. Oh yeah, there's way more than what you just see in your average grocery store. So all the mushrooms I grow, uh, they have you know lots of diversity there. Um, so for anybody that's you know never really adventured out and trying different mushrooms, you know I have lots of different varieties that have different flavors and textures. So I'd like everybody else to experience growing their own mushrooms too. So it is a fascinating process. Jim Duthie, Idaho's News Channel Seven. And one mushroom variety that Brody or anybody else doesn't grow is morels, a favorite among Idaho mushroom hunters. And that's because morels are almost impossible to grow commercially. By the way, Brody's mushroom growing kit is on the market and you can find them at many farmers markets around the valley as well as at Edwards Greenhouses in Boise.